Welcome back. Earlier this afternoon, Sherry Jones spoke with Robert Sheehan, the CEO of the Community Mental Health Association of Michigan. He's at a mental health conference in Washington, D.C., and she spoke with him via Zoom. Let's listen in. Students' quotes were profound. They said, I've never been so scared in my life. And these are students that have faced an awful lot of scary times in their life, but this was the most petrifying for them. So people should just feel free to talk about it. And I think sometimes people think, well, I can get over it. I'll, I'll get on like another day. That's the wrong approach because it leaves a scar, emotional scar, a, a cognitive scar in that person. And he or she shouldn't let it stay there. They really should just talk about it. They, if they don't, they'll find themselves talking about it for years to come or not talking about it and having that kind of trauma, that kind of panic um, impact their decisions for the rest of their lives. And so I urge people to talk among friends, among families, among if they are students, fellow students, if they're workers, among fellow workers, even those of us far away from East Lansing who feel impacted by it because we heard about it should just talk about it openly um, and with all the gravity it deserves. I think sometimes people shy away from those, that group talking. Mm -hmm. um, what it does though, it brings the tribe of us together. That kind of tribal unity is important to feel that you're part of something, a shared tragedy that none of us wanted, of course, but the tragedy's here. And the question is not, why did it happen? The question is now what? Bob, we're hearing that the shooter did have some mental health concerns. We're hearing this far too often related to these types of mass shootings. What does this say about our country, the people in it, and where our attention needs to focus, in your professional opinion? The stigma about mental health is so deep that people with needs who are either feeling violent or feeling lonely or ostracized can't speak about it. And often those people live lives of loneliness and desperation because they're afraid to admit or have others know that they're struggling with mental health needs. And so sometimes they'll stop seeing their therapist, they'll stop uh, receiving support from peers and others who have similar needs, they'll stop taking their medications because of the heavy stigma. And we have to, we have to throw stigma away. Any final thoughts for the greater mid-Michigan community, Bob? I tell people in times of stress, in times of um, danger, there are two responses people have. One is to push people away, one is to pull them close. This is the time to pull them close. Sherry Bob, thank you. Coming up on 6 News at 5.30, the University of Virginia 